Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to continue with the last uh, step, which is the continuous delivery deployment. Okay, we have already uh, set up this part, the first part. So the CI, which is um, working, and we have checked that uh, we have indeed um, this pipeline has indeed built the Docker image and pushed that image to our uh, Azure container registry. Okay, now we need this part where, okay, um, the that Docker image, the latest one, will be deployed here. Okay, let's go. And that's where we need the second feature, which is the release. Okay. Now we we have been working with the first feature. Now let's go to the second one, which is releases. We don't have any pipeline. We we, we need to create a new pipeline. Okay, okay. Let's create a new pipeline. Uh, we need to select a template, uh, but I'm just going to start from scratch. So uh, empty job. All right. Oh, okay. We need an artifact. If we 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 didn't use um, a Docker image, we would have uh, uh, used you know the artifact that we just published, okay. But uh, in this case, we are not using uh, we are using a, a Docker as application, so we need a Docker image, okay. So to add the artifact instead of just using the built one uh, uh, we will uh, go and search for the azure container repository okay here we go here um, okay let's look for our we will use the second connection as you can see the second connection here is um, azure resource manager the second one okay we will take it and we need to choose uh, the resource group, this one, and then Azure Container Registry, uh, yeah, this one, and uh, the repository is this one. Good. Now we can add. All right. Great. We have our our artifact. Uh, it will uh, go and uh, take this latest image here and then he can deploy it here all right that's what we are doing now uh where am i go back now we need to add a, a task um yeah we add a task here uh what are we looking we're looking for Ooh. Azure Web App for Containers, okay? Azure Web App for Containers because we need to deploy a container. Okay, add, and we need to configure uh, this again. We will be choosing the same uh, um, connection here. And uh, for the app name, we know the app name, it is Spring Boot Web App, okay? But it will definitely appear here, here you go. And then for the image, then we just um, uh, image, 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 come back here. Uh, we take this login server. This is our container registry. So we copy here, uh, go back here. Then uh, our repository is a Spring Boot, okay. And then we need to put the uh, tag, and the tag, as we saw, it's uh, this one, okay. Build dot. No, 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 no. Build ID. 
all right great so build dot build id which is just a, a built-in variable okay it's this number represent um, the the number of uh, pipeline okay i will show you later yeah. okay so no mistake okay we have spring boot boot and the the tag is boot dot okay everything is okay now we should save we should save done okay and we can now uh, build create this release okay so what we are going to do now i'm going to show you again so uh we need now uh to create this release meaning so it will then uh take the latest image and uh, pull it here deploy it here okay that's what we are doing now let's create this image i think everything is correct let's create okay and create all right um okay we have our release as you can see he is using this uh, uh latest image which is uh, 26 okay okay let's go and check what is happening okay he's using the latest image we see which is 26 that's great all right okay just give it some time okay oh great we started we started successfully great agent job in progress so just wait so um after completing this um this pipeline and we should now after refreshing here we should see here 26 okay 26 because this is the update version okay uh come back here okay done it's done um again um I'm gonna show you something as well for the for the CI uh, build. As you can see, you see the the twenty six comes here. The build ID is this is this number. So this is this run is the the run number twenty six. So af, after this pipeline, if uh, we we have an a, another run it will be 27 and so on and we are using just as tag this uh the, the build id number okay that's what i wanted to show you okay now um let's go and uh and check let's go and check uh let's give some times so he can update sometimes sometimes uh it's take more time so let's give it some time uh okay 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 mm. okay now we can check 
Okay, as you can see, uh, we can see it's 26. So meaning we have um, we have built our pipeline uh, that is doing the job. Uh, just one thing more we need to 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 change. So we we have done the continuous integration here, and then we have also done the continuous deployment. Now. Uh, for the continuous integration, uh, it, it will be triggered automatically uh, as we saw in the, uh, in the, 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 the YAML file, the trigger part. But here we need also to uh, do something so that uh, I don't need to, to go and click create release. Okay, it should do, it should trigger this uh, this pipeline automatically as well so for that let's come back here and uh, we put edit okay this is where we can automate look here the it's continuous deployment so if we click here uh, we can enable the continuous deployment trigger click here and now it's enabled so create a release every time an image is pushed to the selected repository okay uh meaning that if we if we change our code if we change our code uh remember that uh, okay uh, i need to pull here git pull so we can have all the changes uh git pull <laughs> <laughs> all right so we have here all the changes uh azure remember this if we do any if you have any changes here uh because of this if there is a change a change in this branch this pipeline will be triggered okay and will be run and uh, if this pipeline run it will build uh because of the the second stage it will build a docker image and push the docker image to the um to the container registry and whenever whenever uh, uh um an image is pushed to the docker registry then it will create it will trigger this release he will, he will be waiting for a new uh, docker image if he he see a, a new docker uh, image image then he will trigger this task this uh, 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 this uh, pipeline which is the deployment uh, the delivery uh, the continuous delivery so we have already enabled it so it will do it automatically so now from now we don't need to touch anything all we need is okay we need to go and do some changes okay uh, okay we need the uh, leave stay we need to save uh, Save. okay now i think we can leave it uh, we can go uh, here all right okay um come back we have already put but i can make sure uh, everything is uh, okay we are up to date now what we can do go here now it will be uh number seven uh two seven okay number two seven so we can now Okay, new update from local. Okay, what we do, then we commit and we can push. Let's push. Okay, done. Now let's go and check. Normally it should trigger here. Okay, we had one new load, so we can do this and uh, come back here. 
okay you see it's triggered why because of because of this here he's monitoring this branch and he noticed that oh there is a new commit then i need to trigger the pipeline okay that's what he's doing now uh, let's go and check okay i'll see if we can see um here he has already published that's a little bit slow Marvin. and then here he copied and then he has published okay just give it some time and let's come back all right everything's done so um uh here uh for the first stage build is done the second stage also uh is done okay so um yeah let me uh, just check for the for the docker image we will see, you should see 27 now okay you see this is 27 okay 27 and it's the build id number here is the same number here for the tag okay uh so we know that uh, and uh oh now we can check for the release the release has been okay triggered automatically as well because he 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 sees a new image has been pushed here we had like a 26 and now have 27 then that's why he triggered this uh pipeline and we can also check here we have everything is done and we will we'll give it uh give give it some time in, in order to check that it's uh, updated but we can go uh, to the container registry to check uh, that um, everything uh, is uh, okay. Let's go to the uh, refresh and check the repository. And okay, you see, we have now the, 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 the tag 27. This is the new one and let's give it some time to before refreshing some time okay but we we we, we already uh, checked here everything is okay uh, he he's using he's deploying this image okay now i think it's time to check and to see let's refresh i still need some time uh, that's why sometimes it takes a little okay now we have 27 okay so what we have done we have just um change here and without any manual intervention the pipeline is working he did everything uh, from uh, continuous integration from continuous integration to continuous deployment okay i hope you uh, have enjoyed this video i showed you how to build a ci cd pipeline uh, um, using uh, azure devops okay we have focused on these two components the azure repos and the azure pipelines in azure pipelines we have two features pipeline and releases okay and uh, we need uh, this uh, service connection to be able to push the docker image in the docker uh, in the container registry and also to be able to deploy to our uh, uh, web app here okay and we can uh, see our dockerized application 
uh, in the browser. Okay, so this is it. Azure DevOps, it's a really uh, um, a good tool, a best, I think one of the best tool for CI CD uh, um, pipeline. So uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe if you didn't yet, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Please don't hesitate. If you have any concern, drop, drop, uh, drop a comment, and uh, I will, uh, I will, I will answer. Thank you very much, and uh, bye bye.